Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's movie time. What do we have here today, Dan? We are watching Insidious. Mm, not many jump scares on this channel yet, huh? No, not really. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to this. First time for both of us, guys. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, my. What is that? Ooh, it's giving me exorcist vibes. I like that. Very reminiscent, yeah. Oh, damn, you can fall asleep to this guy's snores. <laughs> um. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they have matching JJs. I know, I saw that. Do you know who that is? No. It's me. Show me a picture when dad was a little kid. I don't think we have any. He's really hopeless at keeping photos. That's odd. No. I had those get there. I say, she put those up, right? Yeah. No harm ever came from going into a dark attic. No, not at all. <laughs> Why the, the hell? No. That was random. Kevin McAllister's nightmare. <laughs> Look at this, babe. Nice job. Yeah, it's getting there. <laughs> uh -oh. No. Have you seen my box of sheet music? It's just vanished. <laughs> Can't find it. Way too dark in there, kid. <laughs> they don't even know he's up there. No, they don't. Are, are you okay? No, he saw something. Put it up in your head. Oh, gosh. Scraped it. Okay. You scared us, buddy. I said, what did he see? Yeah, you're not going to scream like that for a scrape on the head. No. There's the sheet music. The music she was looking for earlier? Mm-hmm. Just happens to be up in the attic? Okay. I just want things to be different in this house. Mm -hmm. I just had such a bad day. I'm scared nothing's going to change. It will, I promise you. We just got to give it time going on in your lives? That's a good question. Can you go wake up Dolphin Josh? Hey, Mr. Sleepy Pants, get up. You better get out of that bed. Your mother's gonna kill us both. Easy what you say. Dalton. 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 Dalton! There is no brain damage. Technically, yes. He's in a coma. Oh, my. What happened? To be honest, I've never seen anything like it. There's got to be something. I'm sorry. So how's a healthy young kid get into a coma? Three months? Slide it in like that. I have to make sure that the end of the tube is curved and that his head is a little bent back. Well, I'm just thinking about her stress because she seems like she's already tired dealing with the other kids. Well, sure. So have they not had any issues in three months? I hear a voice. Oh, that was creepy. I heard there's nothing you can do. That's what I heard. Oh my god. You're messing with the baby? What do they want? Coward of a ghost. I'm scared, Mom. Scared of what? Dalton. I don't like when he walks around at night. What? He's supposed to be in a coma.
Yeah, to hell with you. Yeah, I think I would do that too. Something really weird happened to me today. I heard this noise coming from Callie's room. Also, shit's happening in your own house right now. Yeah, I could check on your kids. I could hear it on the monitor and I turned up the volume and I... What the hell is that? Good lord, it's way too late for shit like that. That's what I'm saying. Who comes to the house this late? <laughs> How convenient. Don't open the door, you idiot. Is it even locked? Kind of is now. <laughs> so I remember the chain being on there when he came down. Oh. Ooh, sound good. That didn't sound normal. No. See, that didn't sound like the same thing she was hearing. Oh, God! Someone in the alley room! Someone there! I saw somebody! Jesus Christ. There's nobody here. I saw someone. Yeah, we saw someone too. Okay, okay, take her, get Foster, go in Dalton's room. No way. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just unchained itself. Jesus. It's like the spirit fled out the front door. God, again? Yeah. What the hell? Have you closed this door yet? They're not gonna get any sleep tonight. No, they are not. Hey, honey, it's me. Um, I got, I'm gonna have to stay late tonight to, uh, I gotta grade some tests, and, um, it's gonna be a while. Is that Jigsaw on the board back there? It is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure James Wan directed the first Saw. Oh, did he really? I think so, yeah. Okay, a nice little Easter egg there. Having visions now? I think whatever's going on is affecting everybody differently. What the heck? Oh my, oh my god. god. Whose hand is that? It's almost like the kid's been marked. That's creepy. Yeah. You've been coming home late every single night. I don't like it either. I was, uh, was grading tests. I mean. There's something wrong with this place. I'm not imagining it. You think our house is haunted? I don't think it. I know it. You're never here with me in this situation. You're just avoiding it. I don't avoid stressful situations. I'm just dealing with them my own fucking way. I think y'all need to deal with it together. Yes. Fine. Deal with this. Mm. Yeah, I see your rational explanation for that. I was wondering what I was seeing there. It looked like just bushes. Uh-uh. What, what was this? Josh. What the hell? Who was that? Looked like Brad Dourif to me. <laughs> I want to leave this house. I Are you sure that's going to help? I mean, whatever this is, it's like on you, not the house. What the hell? Did you move to Florida? I can't believe you got Josh to hold still for a photo. <sighs> what I can't believe is that we are doing this all over again. You must think I'm crazy. Whatever you have to do to get through it, do it. And you don't have to apologize for anything. Good friend. I think it's the mother-in-law. What? Did you know your record did that? <laughs> oh. Uh, who is that? Oh, hell no. Mm. Of course they did. Moving did you no favors. That ghost is having a fun old time, wasn't it? Oh! 
Oh, oh god damn it. I'm scared of a child here. <laughs> a ghost child. They're creepy. This haunting is getting worse. Oh god. Uh-uh. Whoa! Is there an actual kid there? God dang it! This shit's just terrorizing him. It's terrorizing her. Yeah. Thing from the other house has followed us here. What's happening to Renee's real? I've seen it for myself. What have you seen? I came today because last night I had a dream about this place. I was afraid. I keep coming back to this clock. That clock's got something to do with it then. I went into Dalton's room. There was something in there with him. Oh Christ. That's not human. I said, what do you want? It said Dalton. Oh God! What the hell was that? What? It's broad daylight. Why is this thing tearing up the house? It's tearing up Dalton through. See, the red hands are all over his sheets. Look at it. Oh, yeah. I know someone who can help. If you're willing to ask. Just do it. This is bad. It can't hurt. Bex, this is Tucker. Okay, maybe it can hurt. I'm Renee. Hi. Hi. You must be Josh. Yeah. Are they here to sell you Mormon stuff? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Like Ghostbusters. Well, you know, the... Mm-hmm. This device measures changes in UV light. I make all this equipment myself, you know. Yeah, that one's basically a modified toy. <laughs> Guys, just do your job. <laughs> a little bit, huh? It is the clock. Yeah. Oh, creepy. Oh, oh Christ! I'm gonna die watching this, Dan. <laughs> Where does that energy go when we die? We can call a lease. We got problems in here. So that thing actually works. I wasn't sure the doorbell was working. Lynn Shea, good to see you. Come on in. Oh, thank you. You've grown since I last saw you. Since you last saw me? Mm -hmm. Your mother and I have been friends a long time. Hmm. Everybody knows Josh. Has he had problems in the past, considering her background? And I'm he thinking know he it? has, okay. yeah. Aw, oh, Stephen, do you have your sketchbook? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. She tells me what she sees and I draw it. It's the most important part of her process. Uh, that's debatable. All right, for God's sake. It's a terrible assistance. She sees it right now, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Blood red face. Creepy. Oh my god. Good. She sees that hanging up in the corner like that. Just hanging right above Dalton. Good lord. Your son isn't in a coma. His physical body is here, but his spiritual body is not. It's not the house that's haunted. It's your son. Oh no. Have you ever heard of astral projection? Yes, is the out-of-body experience. That's what he's been having. Now Dalton, he is a very accomplished astral projector. Really? And he's unafraid because he thinks they're dreams. And it's that very lack of fear that has led him to become lost. Lost where? In a place that I call the further. You actually have a name for this? Okay. A place without time as we know it is a dark realm filled with the tortured souls of the dead. Parallel dimension. With his astral body gone, he's just left us with a physical body, an empty vessel. And there are entities that know this because they can smell it. And they want his body. Yeah. There are other entities 
more malevolent and have a more insidious agenda. Like our red blood figure there. A demon who seeks Dalton's body for one reason, to cause pain to others. Interesting. The longer that Dalton's astral body is kept away from his physical body, the easier it is to possess him. Oh, I see. It's been three months. Yeah. I can't have somebody coming into our home and telling us that the reason our son is in a coma is because his soul has floated off somewhere in another dimension. What choice you got, friend? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you know, I, I, no, I, I really understand. I, I thank you for your hospitality. Good luck. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Give me a little more support for the mother there. So much for doing everything you can for your son. I know you can hear me, but you gotta show me, okay, buddy? Why did that one of all the others fall? That's interesting, right? Kind of looks like that figure that she drew. Yeah. These are your son's drawings. Yeah, he's seen them too. There's a red door. Mm-hmm. Oh, he does project, see? Mm-hmm. Is that why you wear a cape? Because you know you can fly in your in your out of body experience. Yeah, you can oh. actually fly. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Son actually talked to him, huh? In his own way. These still cameras are rigged to pick up any changes in the atmosphere. Both. I want you to know whatever I say when I'm in tune is going to be at a very low volume. You won't hear any of it. But Stephen's going to write it down and he's going to repeat it for you. What? A gas mask? That's interesting. Boy, we are really taking a chance here, man. <laughs> we are calling out to you, Dalton. Tell us you're safe. Tell us where you are. It's creepy. <laughs> it is. Oh, they're ready to go off. Mm -hmm. Shit's around. Who's there? Dalton, it's your mother and father. I can't see. I have chills. If they hear me, they'll hurt me. Oh my God. Who will hurt you, Dalton? Man with fire on his face. Oh my God. Be quiet. They'll hear you. Oh my God. Follow my voice. They heard you. They heard you. Help. Help. Oh my God. Help. In danger. You bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. God. I will rip your innards out. Eat the guts. Did it kill her? Dalton? Where did he go? Huh? What? Oh. Holy crap. The demon got a hold of him. Oh my god. Good. Holy shit. He's super strong. What the hell? It's interacting with her how? Oh god. Oh. They're supposed to be ghosts. Leave this body All right, that'll make a believer out of anybody. I should hope so. But it's his soul returned. I think his body is being possessed by the man with the red face there. I and think it was, it was too, yeah. Everybody, yeah. I went through it. Frame by frame. Yep. Yeah, you can see he's his puppeting. Oh my, God. oh my God, that's creepy. Yeah, it is. Poor Dalton's just a marionette. The reason I knew to call Elise is because I called her myself once to help you. This guy's messed with you before? It's no accident that your son is a gifted traveler. The ability was handed down to him by his father. Mm -hmm. You've suffered night terrors. Oh, these were dreams of you watching yourself. 
You uh, were terrified of an old woman who said used to come visit you at night. Ah, must be the one we saw at the opening. Yeah. And then I saw her for myself. Oh, look at her in the car. At first, I thought it was a camera problem. See? Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Good God, it's creepy. In each photo, she got closer and closer. Good Lord, she's coming straight for you. Suppressing your memory and your ability to astral project was the only way to stop her from getting into you. Mm. But in the back of your mind, you're still afraid to have your picture taken, aren't you? Yeah. Your son is out there. And you are the only one that can bring him back. And with what we saw tonight, I would say he doesn't have much time left to wait for you. You need to use your ability and find him out there. But you see, now you can throw that old woman around. <laughs> this is for terrorizing me as a child. <laughs> if they realize you are not one of them, they will come for your physical body in this world. That's clearly what they did with Dalton. Mm -hmm. Let the life around you fade into the background. Focus on a spot in the center of your forehead. It's useless. I have no idea there. what I'm doing. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. You know that's the same sound that the clock makes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let my voice be your guide into the further you go. I wonder what kind of weird things we'll see in here. It's the kind of place where they put mayonnaise on their hot dogs. Oh, God. Take me back. <laughs> it's hell on earth. <laughs> How the hell are you supposed to know where to go? Can't see anything. It's him. It's Dalton. Dalton. Back at the old house. I guess that's where it happened to Dalton, so... Yeah, that's probably where the spirit found him. Oh! For God's sake! Hello? Well, there she is. Go get her. Did you just invite that old woman into Dalton's life, too? Fifties family here. Yeah, they do. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's just a blink. Chill uh, out. Oh, it was blink. Yeah. So is that like how they died in their living room? She so everybody's reliving their past trauma. Wow. That's very unsettling looking. <laughs> Oh, God! Ugh, it's creepy grins. Have they figured him out yet, running around saying I'm looking for my son? They have to have. I don't think they're the problem, I think it's the red-faced guy. Well, sure. Oh, the red door was up in the attic. Oh, God! Where'd he come from? Gonna have to have a little counter up there every time Joe says, Oh God! <laughs> What's happening to him? There you go, fight back! You can beat them, you are stronger, you are the one alive. Get away from me! There you go. Fatality. <laughs> cool, okay. gothic hallway here. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Suspiria a little bit. Yeah. Daddy. Is that you? Daddy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I hope that's really him. We'll get you out. We'll get you out, buddy, okay? Daddy's here. Daddy's here. Oh, Christ. He's just up there Freddy Kruegering himself? That's what it looks like. Who are you? Some kind of demon. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> he is looking. Uh-oh. Oh my Ooh. god, did you see the tongue? Yeah. Oh! No! How'd he get there? Oh, he's got hooves. 
He's a, he's a, what a, minotaur or whatever. I think I saw a tail too. Oh yeah, I saw that. Is the house actually shaking? Yeah, because the demon's pissed. When I hear it. Ooh. Yo. Yeah, all the spirits know you're there. Renee, you must call out to him. Josh, follow my voice. Follow my voice, Josh. Daddy, listen, I think it's mommy. Follow my voice, Josh. Yeah, but they all hear her too. Mm-hmm. It's so dark, you can't see anything. Yeah, but they all know that he's not real. They're not one of them. They know it now. <laughs> Somebody came prepared. Maybe just stay where you were. Yeah, we don't need to go investigate this. Don't put your hand in there. Oh! Whoa! They're crossing over into our world. Oh no. Oh my. How are they doing that? Oh my, it's like poltergeist. Mm hmm. Come on, Dad! Come on, Dad! I'm right behind you, go! No, don't let him go! <laughs> Why did you stop? The kid doesn't know what he's doing. He's never been seen this house before. Oh my god. Come on, Dad. Get in here. Help your son. Fear unlocked. He's on the walls! No! Oh god. There she is. I'm not scared of you anymore. Get the hell away from me! Get away from me! Deal with this on your own time. Save your son. Yeah, you can't leave your son to go fight that damn thing. No. Please, don't please go back to us, please. Oh, they are surrounding you. Leave me alone! Woo! Right in the nick of time. Yeah, but what about your son still? He's still on his own in there. Did he make his way back in too? Oh god, I hope so. Oh, mom and dad are gonna be relieved to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> like, no more after projecting for you, young man. How the hell are you gonna stop that? <laughs> I don't know. He's okay! He's okay! He's okay! He's okay! He ain't saying much. You sure he's okay? Boy, I hope so. You were gonna write a book, and my photos are gonna be the main selling point. Not the main selling point. They'll definitely be important. No, they'll be the selling point. God damn it, kid's hungry. <laughs> He's like, goes, ah, ah, ah. I've been living on IVs for three months. I'm yeah. hungry. You showed me a new world. I guess I don't need these anymore. Put them in your book. What'd you see? What'd you notice? Why did you do that? Why? 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 I think the demon possessed him. The father's still stuck in the other world. Oh, she's gonna kill her. Get in there and save her. Bitch. Yeah, that is the damn demon. Nice. That was too late. He killed her. What? Oh, saw his hands. Oh, yeah. it was her. Then, right here. Uh -uh. That's where it ends? Oh, wide open. Left it wide open. He's going to kill that whole family. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Going to need an immediate exorcism here. <laughs> and now we know why they're sequels. <laughs> Yeah, they have some unfinished business there. Yes. But I could have swore Lin Shay was in others, too. It could be that there's a prequels. There could be a prequel. I mean, she did say they had to go through this for him already once, so I imagine she's done this for other families. 
Oh, certainly. Yeah. God almighty, all these damn ghosts were creepy as hell. And they kind of just stood around and stared at you for the most part. The demon, though, no, he got around. No, he did, but the ghosts were still creepy because they were yeah. just always there, like terrorizing you or something, you know? Yeah. I think just their presence alone was enough. The whole last half an hour of this had a very strong haunted house type vibe to it. Certainly it did. It was so pitch dark. You had, you know, the fog in the rooms. You have the ghost just kind of standing there giving you these disturbing grins. It kind of That's kind of the vibe that it gave me there. Yeah. And I think you hit the nail on the head too when you said it kind of reminded you of Poltergeist. As I was watching this, I kind of reminded of that too. Like the ghost going after Carol Ann. And that's kind of the same thing here. They're targeting this child for his ability. Exactly. And they were Because even in Poltergeist, you know, what did uh, Tangina say? She said they were attracted to her life force. Right. And that's what they're attracted to with him. So. Right. And like you had... Lin Shea there pretty much seen playing the same role as Tangina there. Yeah. So it was very, very similar type of setup. Hmm. Haven't we seen another movie that was very similar in this way? Where it's like, okay, the plots kind of overlap there. You mean like Dread and the Raid? Yes. Yeah. 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 You can tell there was a lot. Just like one of one or two or one or the other was inspired by him. Mm -hmm. Clearly there was tons of inspiration here. And that's kind of what I was thinking when I was watching this show. It felt like it wasn't the most original storyline because you do kind of see the elements from Poltergeist. You see elements of the Exorcist in there. You know, the the big thing that I thought was really interesting about this was the whole astral projection aspect of it. Oh, yeah. Because it's something that I had never considered before, but it is something that I've heard of. And, like, you know, that's an interesting way of kind of tying people into that kind of ghost world. Right. I thought it was a really good idea. I thought so. And they actually did a good job of, like, hinting at it at the beginning, but not actually letting you know what was going on there. Yeah. For all I know, that was that was Dalton, but it turned out to be Josh. So, and, and, and in the end, he ended up getting possessed by his damn demon anyway. <laughs> yeah, that part I didn't expect. You know, I thought maybe the demon got in there and they'd have to do a quick exorcism and get him out. I wasn't expecting the woman to actually complete the job like that. Right. Especially, too, because didn't Lin Shay say you have to be out of your body for a certain amount of time to actually get inside? It wouldn't. He was out of the body way less time than the sun. Yeah, he was out of his body for like, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. It shouldn't have been possible for her to do that, but I don't know what his situation is either. Really, his big problem there was stopping for and letting his son go off on his own. You should have gone with him. But then again, it's, if they don't do that, we don't have a plot line for a sequel. Right. So. I mean, the son actually succeeded. It was kind of a good plot twist there because you expect the son's the one who's in danger. He's being chased by a demon. But instead, it was the other way around. The father's the one who ended up screwing up. Right. Overall, I mean... You know, despite despite some, you know, moments of unoriginality there, mm -hmm. I liked the movie. It was fun. It had me jumping out of my seat a couple times, so. Some of the stuff I kind of saw coming, you know, when, I, when we saw the father having his little dreams and stuff, it kind of gave away that there's something going on with him to the plot. You know, and I, I, I thought there would be something bigger there with the mother, too, because it seemed like she'd been dealing with some stuff of her own in the past. She's just an unfortunate victim in all this. Well, I think it's kind of a red herring, too, in the plot to, trying to make you think maybe she's just crazy and she's really not. But there are times, too, where I'm looking at the father who's you know, absolutely rejecting the whole idea that there's something paranormal going on. It's like, dude, you just saw a room get ripped apart by nothing. Yeah, and you saw the and you saw those red handprints all you over the You saw the, the handprints. You saw the door closing and opening on its own. How do you not believe that there's anything there? Like, that's pretty pretty naive. I don't know. That's like you, you, you don't, you're not understanding and not just that, but you're trying real hard not to. Right. You know, you're eliminating any possibility that this could be the answer to getting your son back so i feel like that might have been a little bit unnecessary it's like let's why don't we just accept that there might not be a whole lot of answers to getting your son out of his coma here and maybe we need to explore some uh some out of the box thinking it, it felt really forced on his part like it, they were just kind of following that whole trope thing that they were doing with so many other aspects of the film and it kind of felt off to me when he was doing it but, you know, yeah, overall, I thought the movie was pretty good. I wanted to see the demon do more than just kind of, like, pop up every now and again. I wanted to see what his actual capabilities were. And they never really, like, show... That's the thing with most a lot of these movies. They never really focus very hard on the demon themselves. Yeah. You know, you know that they're a malevolent presence, mm -hmm. and you sense them and see them a little bit every now and then, but they never really just, like show them in the flesh you know it's like you get some hints of what their being might be yeah or, but you never really get to know their background or you'll show us their feet and their hands we'll see their face and their eyes but we never like get a good just clear image of them 
Yeah. And and a good idea of what they can do physically. Like we kind of saw him running on the wall there, but well, I mean, because they're always shrouded in darkness. Yeah. But it's like, what's what's your past? You know, like what's your damn story? Um, yeah, you gotta imagine the demon has a kind of story too, there, right? Yeah. I mean, you don't just come out of nowhere. Hopefully, in the few, in the in the other movies, they explain that a little bit. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool to know. I think so. Yeah. Another thing kind of threw me off too was her assistance there being kind of oddballs. Yeah, it's like, man, can we get a little professional here? Your your guests are in their house right now. Well, the thing is, you know, I'm not saying in an, in and of itself is a bad idea, but it kind of kills the tension of the moment because you have these guys in there who are just acting goofy and saying stupid stuff, and it's supposed to be a really serious, you know, hey, there's terrible stuff going on here. Well, I think for me, it just goes to show the ca the types of guys they are. Mm -hmm. Probably don't have the best social skills for one individually or as a, or as a collective to both of them. Right. But two, they're probably already believed in everything that happens in this world, without actually needing to see proof of it. So much to the point where they studied it, mm -hmm. and they actually had the equipment ready to go. And when they found out that there was somebody out there that actually had these medium abilities, I don't know who found who first. But when they actually found out that somebody had these abilities, they found somebody they could partner with. And it does seem like a very oddball group, all three of them together. But it worked! Because they did actually work together as a team. They all fulfilled certain certain roles there. Again, go back to Poltergeist. You know, the the three people that showed up at the house after Carol Ann had disappeared. Yeah. You know, one of them was that... Uh, was an older woman who was like doing studies at the university and she had her two male assistants there mm -hmm. right one of them was more affected than the other but they were an oddball pairing nonetheless a little because, bit yeah because they believed in these things so much that they were willing to go on it with each other there mm -hmm. so it just turned out that they eliminated the uh the one lady altogether from this and just went with the tangina type of character right in lynn shay so yeah and what was the deal with her mask did they ever really explain that <laughs> That part I don't know. Because my thought was maybe it's like got a limited supply of oxygen and it's kind of a way of like giving her like oxygen deprecation until so, so she's like slipping, slowly slipping into the other world mm. as she passes out. Maybe. But it was like, but the other end was hooked to his ear. Right, but. I mean, even That's then. true. But yeah, I don't know. It just, it just seemed kind of weird to me. That's a good point. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's crazy to think about. Some, somebody Somebody knows about that more than we do. Yeah, I wonder cause... if you see it in the other movies. That's what I wonder. Yeah, or at least find out the origin of that. Right. Maybe. It was a creepy. It was a creepy moment there with that mask because she's whispering through it, and you can and you can hear the demon's words are coming onto paper. Right. A very unsettling moment. So. Yeah, I was actually a bit concerned that the demon was actually gonna like pop out and you know, cut her open and eat her in, as like it was saying. No, somebody else finished the job for him. Yeah. So, all in all, fam, I we, I think we enjoyed ourselves watching the movie there. Uh, let us know if you want us to watch the others, guys. We're certainly all game there. But as always, if you're brand new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoy the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. Come see what we're up to over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Or on the further, whatever they call it. <laughs>